Hey guys, today is a video all about perception versus reality. Reality is none of the shit that you see on YouTube is real. Well, some of it's real. I'm a real person. You're gonna go and you're gonna watch a lot of YouTube videos and you're gonna see these women who have these perfect lives and show you these things that are amazing and their beautiful filming setup with their sparkly fairy lights in the background and their beautifully clean vanity. And then you turn around and realize the trash is behind me. That's all my trash. The reality is my room is a frickin' pigsty right now. There's clothes all over the floor. Hair, floor, cords, desk, more trash. When you see a really cool Instagram picture that I'm taking, the picture turns out looking like this, and the before started looking like this. So it's a really important to remember that these things that you see online, so like you may be like, oh my god, her eyelashes are perfect, her eyebrows are perfect, drawn on fake. I dye my hair. Some of this is fake hair. Um, my background isn't clean. It's so dirty. Like my house is, is a wreck, you know, and it's, it's, it's hard to remember that the perception of the way that things really are, like you see me right now and you're like, Christy, you're not even overweight. What? Have you guys even seen my body? I think you're about to. Like, gunty. Like, I'm fat and I have freaking stretch marks, you know, like trash house and nasty background. <laughs> like, okay guys, like, I think it's so important because I get a lot of comments on like Instagram or uh, Instagram especially because I can make my angles. Okay, I'm going to do an Instagram pose for you right now. So I can look sexy as fuck in an Instagram picture. Most of the time I'm like this. Hanging out with cats and my chin. What you see and what the internet shows you versus what's really happening, two totally different things. I'm sitting here right now with a headache, but can you tell? No. You might look at me and be like, that bitch has got her life together. No. 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 <laughs> I've never taken you guys around my house to show you what my life is really like. From my background and from just, you know, my lighting and my Instagram posts and stuff and that. You might look at me and think, that bitch is going to have a really nice house. But I don't. I'm going to just explain to you a little bit about just the way shit really is. I'm going to use Cloudy Apples as an example. You look at her channel and you see her and you look at her and her body and her life and just the way she seems so put together and everything is so composed and perfect. And you go... You're fucking perfect. Your life is perfect and my life is shitty and I'm fat and I'm stupid and my house isn't that pretty and I don't go gallivanting through, you know, sunflower fields eating fresh couscous. I'm constantly comparing myself to other people and being like, she has it, I don't, my life sucks, hers is amazing. Screw it, I'm just gonna sit around and eat a bunch of ice cream because fuck it, it doesn't fucking matter. Her life may be like mine where you see one background of my life. If you wanted to go see... Maybe I'll take you upstairs right now. You guys want to go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Want a real picture of how not perfect my life is? This is my life. Cat hair fluff. This is my most embarrassing room of my house. And I'm going to show it to you anyway because I got to be real. And I just want you to just know that I'm not a gross person, but this fucking cat is ruining my life. And this is how. So... This is what I call cat pee room. <laughs> I literally have a cat pee room. So you got a cat tree, a bunch of trash on the floor, cat box, and where my cat has pissed on the floor 500 fucking times. Those are pee pads that I put down this morning that she's peed on like, what, 18 times? There's pee on the floor right there. There's no pee in there because the fucking idiot won't pee in it. It's this one. It's this little asshole who thinks that when she goes into the bathroom right now, she's gonna jump up to the sink and be like, oh, I'm cute. I didn't just pee on your floor 40 times. Oh my God, I'm so fucking adorable. Not adorable, asshole, 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 asshole. Just so you guys don't think every part of my house is gross, this is my living room. I will do a full house tour later, but just so you guys aren't like, she just lives in Cat Piss House. 
this is my living room. My living room is nice and normal and well put together and not messy. So just keep in mind, not everything in my life is gross. You may look at my vanity background and be like, wow, it's so pretty, Christy. Then you see that I put the lights halfway up the wall. I pinned a curtain to the wall to make my background. And the lights only go halfway up because I was too lazy and too short to put the lights more up. So you guys see that. But yeah, it looks like that. So basically, this video isn't to bum anybody out or to make you feel like the people that you love on YouTube are being fake to you because that's just not the case. People show you the best sides of themselves. They aren't going to show you the shittiest, ugliest, worst sides of themselves. Only I do that. Don't compare yourself to people that you see online because shit, girl, if you just knew what half of them's lives was like, maybe they're the most beautiful person on the outside, but they're batshit crazy on the inside. Or maybe they, you know, post some beautiful pictures of their lips, but maybe their home life is shitty. Or maybe they are, you know, raw beauty Christy online and their upstairs bedroom is covered in cat piss. Everybody's lives are different and what you see online is not always real because shit, girl. You just saw the inside of my life, and I bet you, you think I'm gross and hoarder status, but I've already, a fucking, I'm going to tell you what I've done for this cat. I've taken her to the vet, I've gotten her blood work tested, I've gotten her urine tested, she's fucking fine, it's behavioral, she pees because she's stressed out, or whatever. I've tried feel away, I've tried locking her in a cage for a month with a litter box, and she relearned how to use it, and then she used it for like the first week, and I thought she was cured, and then she pissed all over my floor. I've tried... Uh, you're in a way I, I've tried everything other than medicating her which I don't want to just put her on Prozac for the rest of her life But I'm considering it. Don't worry. I would never euthanize my pet for that I just clean up and the, what the reason the floor looks so gross isn't because it's currently covered in cat pee It's because when she pees on the wood floor it eats the top coating off of the floor Hence the look on the floor. So don't judge me That room's the only room there's pee in but it's Jasmine's piss room and she's just gonna piss in it all she wants to and I just have to lay fresh pee pads out for her every night because she's such a fucking asshole. I will be back to beauty videos shortly. I just wanted to film a couple of these videos because to be frank with you, I get, when I put out a beauty video, they take three times as long to film and they are not as good. Thank you so much for watching and Please, if you would like to, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Those are all at Christie. You can subscribe to my channel if you would like to be updated when I put out new videos. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. It lets me know if you like it. Let's me know if you think I'm stupid. Either way, I don't really care. But thank you anyway for watching and rating and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Are you still vegan or vegetarian? Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking this and a lot of people wonder and a lot of people hear me talk about like going to Buffalo Wild Wings and then they're like, but I thought you were vegetarian.